thanks for coming. Well, thanks for the invitation. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. I, I was saying in Turkish that you're all like founders of and like uh, really good events across Europe, and you're meeting a lot of people. You are just enabling this uh, platform for uh, startups and tech companies to uh, spread their words. So, uh, oh, here it is. Nice. Cool, like it's that. us. <laughs> it all started there. We were, uh, I mean, we were at Challengers event in Barcelona, and it, it, that was the first time we really seeded this idea. Ben was the owner of this idea. Let's start with startup Sesame. Yeah. Is that oh. right? Sesa Sesame? Sesame, yeah. Sesame. Yeah. So let's start with that. So basically, what you see in this picture is a group of event founders that uh, decided to work together and collaborate to you know, at the European level, make it easier to, for startups to grow by events, you know, by attending those different events. So you have uh, Arctic 15 here also represented. You have the same t-shirt from the picture. Yes. It doesn't change shirts. <laughs> it's easy to recognize them. <laughs> they almost dress the same. So you had Arctic 15 and, and Slush from Helsinki. You have Tech Open Air just here also from Berlin. And uh, Challengers was hosting us. Arda was there for Istanbul. You know what? And uh, I'm wearing the same jacket, probably. Yeah, you wear shirt. the same dress. <laughs> he's every wearing time. the same t shirt, and he's still wearing the same t shirt. So, and pioneers from Vienna at the far left. So, this is a group of events who started to join that partnership. Yeah, and uh, I, mean, I don't want to really like uh, tell each of you, uh, I mean, I, I don't want to really talk. Uh, about your companies and everything because I already mentioned that and they probably know when they checked out the program. So uh, we were we were talking uh, actually even last night uh, during our meetup uh, and we all believe in that it's it's much easier now like for for a company for someone uh, planning to I don't know expand into Europe or I don't know start his or her business there. Because uh, especially events are the main enablers for this, I believe. And uh, for example, you are based in Spain now, in Barcelona. Uh, you are based in Berlin, Berlin and you are organizing uh, Berlin Tech Open, right? And you are in Finland. So I mean, if you need anyone in in, the, in these regions, you know you know the right people now. What do you think about it? Is it is it like uh, what what is the benefits of, I don't know, uh, joining these events? Do you believe in the power of networking? Let's start the conversation somewhere. Then, like, I don't want to really go, like, Q&A kind of thing. It's better to just, let's discuss it all together. Yeah. Who wants to start? I think I can, um, I think I'll, I'll go first. Uh, something was interesting, I don't know who said it last night, it was Ben or, or Nico, but that you, no longer you don't need, no longer do you need any, uh, in like corporations or embassies to go to certain countries. You just need to know uh, the events or some organizers, like uh, like if you want to go to Berlin, um, you need to somehow get in touch with Tech Open Air, uh, and Nico will get you in front of the right people if you're worth the, his time. So it, it's like this, This is we've seen this constantly, that um, events are becoming this amazing place where you see the latest innovation, you see the most cutting edge uh, uh, companies, and then the mo best of it, you, uh, you see the, the country's uh, brain, brain mass. So you see the smartest people joining events like Webrazi uh, and, and seeing what's happening in there. So you, you, put, you put those elements together and you get something very, very special. And, and you cannot produce that um, in any, any context of corporation. You can do that only in, in a context of events or, or startup culture, you know? Um, yeah. yeah, I think it's, it's interesting how events have developed. It's actually a huge industry, right? So it's a $400 billion industry, which a few people actually know, and I was surprised to hear it myself. How much? And it's $400 it billion. Four so it's, big, it's bigger than aviation it? or, or uh, take sports. Take it more serious then. <laughs> or, uh, or, or, you know, the film industry. Um, and it's, uh, wow. it's growing really fast. And I think there's uh, sort of three macroeconomic and sociocultural trends that drive this. Uh, and that make it worthwhile for people to actually attend those. Mm. One is the world is becoming more and more entrepreneurial, right? We see this here in the audience. There was actually a study done by Kaufman, which quotes that 54% of Generation Y now wants to start their own business, which is an incredible wow. uh, number. The second big trend, of course, is um, sort of access and experience versus ownership. 
So, you know, the Airbnbs and Ubers of this world show this, that um, people, and especially younger people, prefer to have access and experience. And uh, there's also studies that suggest that, for example, investing into experiences uh, makes you much more happy than investing into possession, into ownership of goods. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, um, sort of the, the third, um, I think, big trend um, is that, you know, events and, and people attending events um, are more than just and networking. They also give you a sense of belonging, um, a sense of community. Um, and you know, for us, for example, community is really crucial uh, to these events. And it's something mm -hmm. that Burning Man, for example, has been very famous in driving the sense exactly. of uh, community, or we work as another example. Mm -hmm. So whether it is one or all of those three criteria that got you to come to this event, um, I think it's uh, always a good platform uh, for knowledge exchange and collaboration and helping you actually fulfill your life with uh, what you love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many people attend to Tech Open, uh, te te tech open Air Berlin? So last year we were uh, 5,500 people. 5,500, wow, yeah. cool. So it's, it's, a, it's a big event. Yeah, I, I, Nico is really very German about it. It's not just 5,500 people, but it's 5,500 people outside. So it's not interior event like Webrazzi or Challengers. Yeah. It's outside, which is really crazy. Wow, wow. Yeah, so we, we were lucky with the weather so far. <laughs> yeah, I'd like, to, uh, am I on? I'd like to ask the audience, that how many of you are, are international companies today? Can, yeah, raise can I see hands. raise some hands? International companies. International raise companies. And how many of you who are not yet international but would like to go international outside Turkey market. Yes, I see some hands coming up. Very good. If you have a good local market, today's world you have to look outside of your own market also to look for those growth of potentials. And how do you reach those right people and contacts on those markets? You can meet them at our or other people's events. Very important to find those contacts there because you can meet them in one place basically very quickly, very efficiently. Actually, maybe I should, I should mention that uh, Arctic 15 is uh, an event organized by Arctic Startup, which is like uh, the leading block, uh, tech block, uh, serving to Nordic, Nordic countries. Nordic yeah. Nordic Baltic, yes, yep. that's correct. And I really admire their work. <laughs> I really admire your work. I wish we were a group, co group of companies. Uh, it's not an offer. Maybe a merger <laughs> in the making here. I mean, can we do the same? Like, uh, you come here, you're here, so we will be all same again. Like, uh, right next to you, right? <laughs> yeah. Where you want me to move? You are, okay, you're all right, but you have to come this way. Anyway, yeah, yeah. We'll do that later on. <laughs> I mean, we will, I, we'll we'll give the same place. picture yeah. after, after the session. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll do okay. that. And Ben, you yeah. were with uh, Medam. Yes. Uh, the company uh, which acquired Le Web. Actually, the web conference uh, a couple of years ago. Now, the web is going on on its own way. But you you've been with the web for a long time, and also me, them. So your experience is really important for us. That's uh, one of the things that we were also discussing. And I imagine that for many entrepreneurs, you are right now thinking about international. I mean, uh, European events. You look at the big ones, the mega conferences, uh -huh. the likes of Web Summit. So if I would ask the crowd here, who is going to go to Dublin? in a couple of weeks, maybe also have some hands. No? So <laughs> Let's ask that again, actually. Web uh, Summit, yes. Who's uh, going to Dublin? Anyone going summit? to Dublin Web Summit this year? OK. No, because they all want to just come to Web Rest. That's, that's good. So. That's good. No, but anyway, the, the point is that right now, the, there is a huge challenge for events to maximize what they deliver to attendees. We were also talking about the size of an event. If you're coming to network, obviously, if you have an event with 15 or 20,000 attendees, you better have a good mobile app or you know, some uh, ways to connect the people together, uh, yeah. not only with an algorithm, but maybe with what you do over there at Arctic 15. So the, um, the challenge right now is in Europe, every main city has its own startup conference. Maybe they have two per year. And you need to navigate and you know, be quite smart on whether you are going to a big event, to smaller, if you go to a vertical event. Let's say you are into ad tech. Well, I would uh, suggest you guys to look into conferences that are, you know, really targeting your, your industry. And general conferences like, you know, the, the web started this 12 years ago. Uh, right now, they have a really hard time, you know, finding the right positioning because there's so many events going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we have another slide for this that shows, I don't know if, you, if we yeah, have well, to click it. Oh, yeah, you can. 
Uh, Does it work? Not really. Uh, orada bir tane daha slide olması lazım it, galiba. Yeah. I'll, I'll just tell them. Yeah, Arkadaşlar bir, bir görüntü daha varmış galiba. Bir slide var galiba. Onu geçebilir miyiz? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Is it? Which one? Go back. Just Go back. this, yes. Yeah. Right, so, nice. so he, uh, with the map here, what uh, I intend to show you guys is that if you are building a one-year strategy with your company because you want to grow, you need to get more clients, you want to connect with investors or press. Uh, if you want to go international, like you see this map, it's just showcase uh, one way to do so. You know, it's like, okay, how am I going to do it over a year? And if Tech Open Air is in July, you know, you can already talk to, to Nico right away and make sure that you will make the most out of your trip to Berlin, you know? That's the type of idea I think mm -hmm. will be more and more important in that industry, to be able to look at your, you know, your calendar and be very wise with what yeah. you're going to do. Yeah. And uh, are, are we going to get into details about like the applicants because there was another Yeah, well, slide, there were some more slides. So if you want yeah. to just show this because it's the first time we actually discussed this in public. So we had for Startup Sesame, <laughs> the partnership that we bring together here is uh, for startups that apply to to, to, the, um, to the program, they get access to all these events for free. They get free or discount in the exhibition, social media coverage, and uh, access to a group of mentors. So all of this with the goal to help them uh, maximize what they do at the event mm -hmm. and with those six events. So we had 80 applications. We can move the slides uh, on if, uh, from uh, 29 uh, countries, so very different set of countries from all over Europe, but also outside of Europe, which is kind of fun because, you know, I don't expect an India, a company from India to come to six events uh, the year. It's but a great number, I think. Yes, for, uh, it's very interesting. And then you can see from which industry they were coming. So you have uh, mobile nice. applications, social media, education. So this also, what um, I find very, I mean, this is something everybody can share with me, that when you are into this uh, organization of events, you also see some trends, you know, you see, uh, where the funds are moving, you know, what are the, the, the potential growth for, you know, investors. And I can tell you, okay, this is what uh, we, we identified. Mm -hmm. And I think, yes, the, the next slide is basically to tell you that the average valuation of those companies was 3 million. And they are raising, I mean, they are quite early stage, but already quite established as well. That's uh, part of the learnings that we had. We are launching a new a batch in January. So just keep an eye on, an eye on this, startupsesame.com and you'll be able to attend the events and where Brazil yeah. also next year. Right? I think yeah. what, it, what it really comes down to, uh, and that relates maybe back also to you know, this audience and, uh, and the, the theme of this panel, is you know, that in Europe or in even cross you know, continents, there needs to be much more uh, knowledge exchange and collaboration between different ecosystems. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I mean, Berlin has famously been quoted and hailed for years now as the next Silicon Valley with you know, every media outlet from BBC to The Economist uh, writing exactly that headline. Yeah, I remember and, that. And it's, and it's obviously a complete exaggeration. Um, <laughs> and, and it's also not even possible to compare Berlin to the Silicon Valley because they're so different in nature. Um, but I think if we as, you know, Europe now, speaking of Europe, um, since we're still on the European side, right? Yeah, of we Istanbul. Are still on the side. But um, you saw the Asian side. Uh, we yeah, saw the Asian yeah. side. But, um, you know, in order to compete uh, with the Silicon Valley, um, Tel Aviv, uh, London, more developed ecosystems for talent, for capital. Yeah. It is really apparent that we um, have more um, exchange and, and collaboration between mm -hmm. one another. Like, uh, I, I think, by the way, I think we should really, uh, we should do one more session in the startup launch, but it's not possible, obviously, now. But there are like more than 50 different uh, startups now exhibiting at startup launch. Yeah. Uh, they should really hear about it. And, yeah, we like, should be there. Uh, I, 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 sh I mean, I should, think, I should talk about it, but unfortunately, but maybe during the break we can just go there and yeah. uh, because I, I really want them to uh, meet you guys because like you are their gateway to to, to Europe because like uh, Paris, uh, Helsinki, uh, Berlin, Barcelona, and like uh, these are the main hubs. If 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 we if we had one more person from London, then yeah, this team would yeah. be. Yeah. Great. So, uh, do, you, do, you, do you have anything in mind to add to yeah, this conversation? Yeah, actually, I, would, I do. Because a lot of the things that people, when, when, when people go to events, um, they're not usually really prepared. And, uh, but some people are. Like some, 
some people that I see, especially in our, in our events that we go to, I see a lot of startups that do hustling. So hustling is, I don't know if in, in, in Turkey you do hustling, but it basically means that you work your way into things. You crash the speaker's lounge, you go to media lounge, you, you talk to as many as people possible. And I see this all the time. And one of my favorite cases was recently uh, two Turkish guys. Um, we, we met them, I think, I, I met them last week in, in London, and they had not even a startup, but they pretended to have a startup. They pretend to have a project, and they were just there to validate the project. If it made sense for people, they will actually build it. And I thought it was amazing because how, how, how much cojones you need to do that. I mean, that's, a, that's, a, like, that's what we see all the time. People who learn, in, innovating in new ways of hustling, which I love a lot, you know. <laughs> well, I think all of us here and most of the people, maybe they, they've done that, but they don't recognize it. You've been sneaking around speaker lounge in the past, right? Yeah. You exactly. already did that. Yes. When, when was the last time you sneak into a speaker lounge? <laughs> Maybe last year, Dublin Web Summit. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, so tell me. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I do it all the time. All the time. I, I, I do it in uh, festivals, music festivals, in movie screenings. Uh, last but you know what? Yeah. Uh, you never find that person that you want to talk in yeah. the speaker launch. You usually, I mean, that person usually leaves earlier than every other single person. I do so, actually find, yeah. Really? I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like because you want to talk to everyone, not I just that talk one to everyone. particular yeah, person. Yeah, I find them. You know, you, the thing is that, I always pretend, I don't pretend, I need to pretend, but I'm, I always say, hey, I don't know anything about your company. Can you tell me more about it? And usually they have this little moment where they're, oh, you don't know about me. Let me tell you more. You're such a friendly, nice exactly. person. Exactly. That's why. You are. get them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you guys. It was nice talking to you. I, I start uh, hearing the music outside yeah. because uh, it's, it's a break time now. You'll be around here. Uh, you are leaving tomorrow morning, but you all guys will be around here. If you need to see, uh, ask them any questions, I don't know, talk to them about their events, or I don't know, we want to be there at their events, you can just uh, meet them in the speaker's launch. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can see them around. You can see them around. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you.